Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm going to do some of these uh, beautiful flowers on this page. Now this is a Christine Karen page that I printed out. Now I did have a bit of a whoopsie with the ink. I um, dropped some water on it before I had a chance to dry and instead of wasting the ink and wasting the paper I just thought I'll be able to cover it up. So that's what I'm doing. And I just want to show you how to create these beautiful flowers. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what kind of flowers they are. All I know is they're really, really pretty. And I've just used three colours to create this. Now it does help that I'm using the, <coughs> excuse me, the Tantone paper to make these colours really pop. But I imagine, you know, you'll get a very, very similar effect uh, with the white paper as well. So let me bring you a little bit closer and I think we'll do, we'll do these two here just to show you how I accomplished it. So I've got my swatch cheat, cheat sheet here and the very lightest shade is Oyster. So I'm using the Derwent Lightfast pencils, absolutely beautiful pencils. I can't rave about these enough. <laughs> And then we've got Wild Lavender. And then the darkest shade is Violet. Now I've just realised I haven't sharpened this one. So I'll sharpen it and come back. So what I did was used the lightest shade, the Oyster. I do apologise for the shadow, but it is quite a dreary day today. So I'm working with what I've got. Now... In this uh, illustration, there's already a little bit of grayscale. It's not heavily grayscale, but it's showing you already where to put the shadows. So to start off with, I pop down the lightest colour in the areas that I want to keep the lightest. So all around here. And then mainly in the centre. And then you pull the colours together. It's really easy to do and so effective. So turning my pencil as I go because I'm don't want to snap these. I have a tendency to snap even the the hardest lead pencil because I'm quite heavy handed unfortunately. So I'm going over all of the light areas keeping the grey scaled areas blank. So I want all the centre of the flower, the petal should I say, to be as light as possible. And I'm not being overly neat here, I'll just get that colour down. So a few light layers of that. I'm nervous about bringing you in too close, but that should be okay. And then in with your middle shade, which is the Wild Lavender. And then I started at the top and pulled the colour down. It's sort of like you're doing her. See what did I just say? And it makes me jump every time, every time and it always breaks. It's because I'm so heavy handed. But it's like that you're doing her similar. It's a similar technique. So pulling that colour down and then now the opposite way around. I want to push that colour up but making sure that I'm leaving the very centre light. And then the darkest shade, which is the violet. Now you can still purchase the, um, you can get a sample of the Derwent Lightfast pencils. I saw it actually yesterday on Cult Pens uh, and I think on Derwent's website as well for 50p with any order. So just in case that you want to try them. So doing the similar thing as what I did with the middle purple, but not pulling the colour as far up or pulling it as far down. Back in with that middle shade, which is the Wild Lavender. Pull that colour down. And as you're doing that, you're blending out that darker purple. Same thing, pulling the colour up. And then only two more steps, 
back in with the lightest shade, the Oyster. And you're going over the whole area, but don't go past where you've put that uh, middle and darker colour because you don't want it to smudge on your lightest area. But you're doing this to merge all the colours together. Yeah. And then go over again your lightest areas without smudging that purple. Just to define it a little bit more. And then back in with the darkest one and this is the last step and I just did this a couple of times just a couple of strokes just to deepen it up a little bit and that's basically how I did it how easy is that so I'll show you again so you've got the lightest area first all around the edges and with this petal it's a little bit lighter at the top here so I'm not going to add as much as, as uh, of the purples So a layer of the lightest colour. I know it looks white on camera but it's not actually white. It's like an off-white colour. If I show you it actually next to a white. A white would look beautiful actually on this. But it's just off. So it's just this one here. It's just off-white. And then in with that middle shade. So not as much as the other ones. You should find it a bit easier as well. You'll be able to turn the paper, but obviously for the purpose of the video, I'll keep it as it is. So in with the darkest shade, which is the violet. back with the middle shade it's all about layers and blending the colours out and then the very lightest one which was the oyster let's define these edges and then the very last step is the violet So I will show you how I colour the remaining of the uh, petals and then come back at the end.
So that is the flowers complete. I just need to add the green now to the stems but I'll do that on, in my own time because I've not decided. I might even pull all this colour up into this design on a head. But as you can see it really does pop. It really does help that it's on that tan tone paper but I'm sure that it would, would work just as nice as well on um, white paper. So I will just say the colours again just in case. So the lightest one was Oyster and then we had Wild Lavender and then we had Violets and these are the Light Fast Pencils by Derwent. I hope that you enjoyed the video, it was just a really quick one, it's simple for you to do, really easy for you to follow, just three colours and a few steps. I hope that you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in my next one, bye!